Hi everyone, it's Lisa here with Sunday Crafternoon. It's a different time for my live, and if you're here or watching the replay, thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to give it a minute or so to let some people join in. Catherine, I see you're here. If you'll go ahead and share to the Stampers page, the group, and for me, that I would really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Hi, Linda. Um, so excited to be here. We are uh, back at in Missouri right now, and we just returned from the Greek Isles cruise with Stampin' Up, and it was amazing. Hi, Kathy. And um, I'll talk a little bit about that in a minute. Uh, lots to share. I'll be probably posting pictures of our trip and uh, as well as some things that I got while on the trip, uh, different posts. So uh, anyway, I'm not gonna go over all that today. I wanna get started with some crafting, but wanna talk a little bit about some promotions that are going on now. And uh, so just come on in and get comfortable and get ready for some crafting. And I'll get started with that in just a minute. Hi, Debbie. Um, so anyway, uh, first of all, this month, July 1st through 31st, is our bonus days promotions with Stampin' Up. That's with each $50 in product purchase, you earn a bonus days coupon for $5 on an order you place in August. Hey, Scarlett. Uh, so uh, there is no limit to the number of coupons that you can earn. So it's with each $50 on a single order. And then if you place another order later in the month before July 31st or by July 31st, you earn a, you can earn more $5 bonus codes. And the way that works is after you place your order, uh, you have to make sure that you have a good email address with Stampin' Up on your, on your customer profile. And Stampin' Up will email your coupon codes. It's a string of letters and numbers. So hang on to that email because come August 1st, you can place an order and use those $5 codes on, you can use them all in one order if you want to, okay? So if you have questions about that, let me know. Hi, Diana. Okay, so next we have uh, my special. Uh, if you use the host code, which I posted it under the, the description up here, and also when I turn the camera around, you'll see that if your order is $35 or more and you use the host code, I will send you a gift in the mail, a free gift, okay? So that's something that I like to do since my customers mainly are all online. And so I really appreciate you choosing me as your demonstrator. And um, it, all you do to support me helps me to earn these trips for my husband and me and uh, we're working on earning Maui for next year, so thank you so much in advance. Hey, Laura. Uh, so anyway, um, giving it a few minutes. I know this is a different time, and um, let me see what else is on my notes here. Okay, I have another special, especially for this Sunday crafternoon. Um, I'm going to be showing the Dino Days bundle, and um, with that, if you purchase the Dino Days bundle by Wednesday at midnight, okay, this is coming Wednesday, which is probably July 31st. I don't know, somebody, I, I, I haven't looked at my calendar today. Uh, then uh, I'm going to send you uh, these Dino Roar enamel shapes that you can use with your bundle. And I'm going to send you a card that I've made with the Dino Days bundle, okay? So that's two things that you'll get, okay? And so anyway, that and plus my special with sending a gift for placing an order of $35 or more. Hey, Karen. All right, um, one more is the extra, extra bundle, uh, bundle promotion. If you've ever thought about being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, then now is a great time to join. For $99, you get the starter kit with, and you get to choose $155 worth of product. 
you customize your kit, plus you get all your business supplies, order forms, catalogs, and um, then you get a coupon code that's different from our bonus days coupons for $10 to use the month after you sign up, okay? Hey, Chris. So anyway, I was just talk to, talking to my daughter, Kristen. She had her 20-year class reunion last night, and she had so much fun. I always love hearing about reunions because they are so much fun. Okay, all right, let's just see here. Okay, so I have, um, Kristen, if you can do me a favor, Debbie uh, in my club, hey Jerry, is sending me a text message. Would you uh, send her a Facebook message and tell her to come on to the live that I'm doing a live, that's why I can't answer her. Thank you. Okay, so I think I'm ready to get started. Oh, thank you for sharing. If you share the video, I do a drawing, a random drawing for a prize. I've got to see that you have shared. You need to share on your uh, in your news feed. Thank you, thank you, Chris. In your news feed. Okay, so uh, last time I didn't do a live right before we left for the trip, and I did a pre-recorded video on the kit, one of the kits that's in the annual catalog. And so I did a drawing for that uh, out of those who did share and Lynn Chapman is going to get, I know this is backwards, the Believe You Can Hostess set that's in the annual catalog, okay? All right, okay, let's get started. Enough jabbering talking. If you have questions, pop them up here in the comments and I'll answer later if I don't see it. I don't see all the comments when I'm actually creating. Okay, so I'm gonna slow down a little bit and uh, take my time crafting. I'm not in a hurry, so uh, just enjoy. And our first card, after I get you flipped, is gonna be a fun fold. Let me see if I can turn you around. There we go. All right, so look at this little guy. This card, I got a swap on the cruise that was with this fancy fold, I thought, I have got to try that. It is so cute. And so anyway, we're going to get started here, and I'm going to show you how to make it. So let me get my packet. I'm starting with a piece of five and a half by eight and a half. This is Pretty Peacock, one of the new in colors, and it's scored at four and a quarter, okay? So it's going to be like this but I'm going to cut off part of this front. Okay, so I'm gonna pull my trimmer in here and show you what I'm gonna do. I'm going to cut off one and a half inches from top to bottom, okay? And then you're going to save this piece. To use uh, for part of the fold. Hey Debbie, sorry I couldn't answer you. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna save this piece, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Now we're going to take this and we're gonna use the banner triple punch and slide that right in and we're gonna punch one end, okay? And then I'm going to get my Simply Scored scoring tool. I've been working on projects all afternoon and I have uh, stuff everywhere. Okay, so one and a half inches here. Okay, all right. So we're gonna fold it back like that, okay? Now. This is going to go here like that to make the closure. Hi, Ann. Hi, Aunt Vicki. Thank y'all for watching. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I need to look at my card. And I will have all these measurements up on my blog and I will post here when they're over there. Okay, so you won't have to wonder. 
but you, you know, don't miss out. I post lots of other projects on my blog, so be sure you visit inkandinspirations.com. All right, so we got that there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put some snow adhesive. And just, I'm gonna eyeball this center here. I've got the fold on the edge of the card, the card back on the inside like that, okay? All right, now I'm going to use some of the Dino Roar Designer Series paper, and this is cut at, uh, let's see, I've gotta measure it because I didn't write it down, two and a half by five and a quarter. That's going to go right there. Look at those colors, how pretty. My computer keeps going black screen, so I can't see all the comments, so I will be sure and go back later. Okay, so we've got that, and now I need a piece of white that is going to go on the inside right here, okay? Now, I'm going to wait to glue that in there in case something happens and I have to flip it over, okay? Uh, but you want to know placement of everything because there's going to be some stamping on the inside here. And we really want it to be a surprise when the cards open. So that's why I kind of put it in there to see how it's going to work. All right, so I'm going to do the inside first. So I'm gonna open this up and I'm going to take the trunk of this palm tree and I'm going to use some soft suede ink but I don't want it as bold as it can be with the straight stamping. So most of you know what I do when that happens and I want it to just be a little bit lighter and I want to use a piece of scrap paper so I'm not stamping all over my work surface. So let me pull this out and let me If you're just joining, thank you so much for tuning in. Okay, so see how dark that is? I want it a little lighter. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here toward the edge where I know it's going to be covered by the front flap, but yet I'm leaving enough room to put my palm branches, okay? All right, so there's the trunk. Hi, Diana. Hey, Carol. Thanks, Diana. All right, so now we've got Old Olive ink, and I'm doing straight stamping, full strength stamping here. And so I'm gonna smooth that a bit, and then I'm just gonna start putting some branches. Mm, let's put one more. And don't worry about overlapping them. Looks realistic that way. Okay, so now I have that. And now I want to put the sentiment, I love you this much. And I like it because it's the little T-Rex. You know the little T-Rex has those really short arms. <laughs> and so I really like this saying. Um, where, where's my card? I love you this much. It's a lot more than it looks. Isn't that cute? Okay, so this set, you know, for, it's really geared toward children, but I think really it's fun and whimsical and can be used for just about anyone, okay? Um, but I really liked it, and I like how you can customize colors to be like with, maybe for a girl's card, or do it, with more masculine colors for a guy. Okay, so I'm using a pretty peacock there. And now I want the sentiment underneath this, okay? So I'm going to just stamp that right there. Okay, so see here, 
See what we've got going? All right, now, I'm gonna take the little T-Rex guy and I'm gonna take some pool party ink. Hi, Jennifer. Oh, I'm sorry, Carol. You take care of yourself. All right, and so let's ink this up and I'm gonna stamp off just to see if I want it full strength and I think I do, it's a light color. Okay. So now I'm gonna place that again and see how much room I have. And I kind of overlap his tail, okay, with the palm. I'm just going for it. Okay, so now I'm gonna do his little spikes in Pretty Peacock. And let's just take this. And I'm using the brush tip of this. Okay, and then, and that's the wrong one, isn't it, Lisa? See, I almost made a boo boo. I need the T-Rex spikes, not the, I think, Brontosaurus spikes. Okay, so let me show you this. People have been asking me about this stamp cleaning pad, and I like it a lot, especially for photopolymer. So I've got this, you're supposed to take off the excess ink. Okay, and then dab it, and then wipe it with a dry cloth. Cleans it really well, and then there's a refill. They sell like a ink refill for that to keep it juicy. Anyway, I've been using that for the last couple of days. I just got it in. I'm gonna move my stamp over here, guys, and get the right little spikes on here. Okay, so I'm gonna try to talk a little bit and craft. Um, the first day of our trip, and when we went to the Greek Isles, we went to Rome and I went a day early because I wanted to see the Colosseum. I didn't get to see the Colosseum the other time Stampin' Up! sent us to Rome. And, goodness, let me do this while I'm not talking. <laughs> okay. There we go. And we had trouble getting to the Colosseum because miscommunication and we didn't understand how to get there and it was something. But then, uh, in, in route to try to get close, I was on a public metro bus-like thing and my phone was pickpocketed. Yeah. I was upset. I know it's just a thing, but you know, I was on a trip and I wanted to take pictures and it was, and my phone. I mean, I used my, I was gonna communicate with my family. I was going to take pictures. I was going to work, post videos and check in with you guys here on Facebook and no. So the, the day it happened, I have to tell you, I was really down, okay? And then I thought, you know, it's just a thing. And Jackie, my husband said, um, hey, Brenda, Jackie, my husband said, Lisa, we are not going to let this ruin our trip. If money can fix it, it's not a problem. True. How true is that? If money can fix it. now. Not that we ought, we have this endless supply of money, but you know, money, it's fixable, okay? Um, and I was just, I felt like I had, my privacy was invaded, all my pic, I had so many pictures that I had not uploaded, they weren't in the cloud, so I lost them. Thankfully, my girls are very good about um, getting, when I take photos, they they drop them to their phones so that they can have them, so they have really what I need. I lost a few things that I'm not gonna be able to recover, but I'm, I'm over that. So after that first day, I felt like, okay, I'm gonna use this for good, and I just told everyone, be careful, don't let your guard down, hold on to your purse, 
you know, make be aware of where your phone is, where your wallet is, where your passport is at all times, and used it to try to help someone. So anyway, I was able to, my, with the help of my sweet daughter, Kristen, was able to get with Verizon and put a temporary hold on the account. And I came home and bought a new phone. So anyway, thank you. Uh, thank you for your sympathy, but I'm good now. It's just was, it was, oh my goodness. Are you kidding me is what I was thinking. Ugh. But anyway, it's all good now. So Beyond that, the trip was amazing, beautiful, touching, fun, just all of all of, all the things, okay? So anyway, I had a great time. We both did. All right. Now let's go on to the outside here. And so I have a piece of whisper white, and this is cut at gosh, I'm two and a half by two and three quarter. And then the old doll is two and a quarter by three, okay? And so that's going to layer on top of that, but I'm going to stamp the little guy on here again, all right? So let me get the pool party again. Yes. No, no, Kathy, I had some very good friends who we do a lot with them when we travel. They were angels, they took pictures of us and for us because we did a lot of our uh, excursions and things together and just uploaded uh, to an album that I have access to. So I have lots of scenery pictures. And, um, oh, thank you, Jennifer. Um, and um, also they had uh, a, the ab ability to call internationally so i was able to text and call my daughters or you know and check in with my family while we were gone so i wasn't just you know totally out of touch so anyway but i have pictures of us and i'll be posting but okay it's like, I gotta not talk while I'm stamp, when I'm doing the stamp so I can make sure I'm doing it right. Okay, there we go. Um, so anyway, um, thank you, Brenda. I, I'm good though. I mean, it's, you know, it is what it is. It can happen. And now I know, you know, that careful is not careful enough. You have to be mindful and careful. Mindful and careful. So anyway, hopefully that will help one of you in your travels because it can happen pretty much anywhere. Okay, let me get the spikes on his guy here. Cute. All right. Now we're gonna mount him over top here. Um, I guess my favorite, you know, when you see uh, pictures of Greece and you see all those white buildings with the blue roofs, mainly that's in Santorini, and oh, it's beautiful. Mm. Uh, it was very, very hot there, so I was glad I had my hat and my sunglasses and my linen blend clothes, but oh, so worth it. And then we went to another little island, Mykonos, which is so, so sweet. We did that. We didn't stay ashore too long. We decided to just go and we did some souvenir shopping. And then y'all see how this is going here, okay? I'm jabbering and crafting. Um, beautiful. And then we went to Athens and oh, I was just blown away going to the Acropolis and probably one of my favorite memories. I didn't get a picture of myself up there, but I did climb up there. There is a rock called Areopagus. I'm sure, hey Linda. And it's where it said that Paul gave his speech to the Athenians about seeing all of their false gods and all of that. And that was the rock that he spoke to them on. I went up there. I was moved to tears. 
it was like just so special being up there and thinking about that and that time and being, you know, I just can't explain it, but it was very special. So, loved Athens and seeing all of that. And then, um, then we went to Catacolon, Catacolon. I'm not sure how to say it. I've heard it said so many ways. And went to ancient Olympia where the first Olympics were held. You talk about something. Oh, my goodness. It was great. Um, you know, and it's where they still go and where they still light the torch, you know? Okay, so here, I'm not even telling you what I'm doing. I'm so wrapped up in my trip. Okay, so I took a um, old olive marker and the I love you this much and I just colored the love you, okay? Thanks, Linda. Just color the love you and stamped it on old olive and then cut it out just you know kind of haphazardly to make for to make it fun and we're going to just glue that on the front and then i'm going to use some of those dino roar shape or whatever they're called dino roar shape it's the one if you play if you buy this bundle and Use the host code. I'm going to send you those dino shapes and a card made with this cute set. Okay, so there's that. Yes, it's beautiful, Jennifer. Yeah. Okay, so now I wanted a little something here. So I'm going to get these dino shapes. I opened a pack um, yesterday. And I have no clue where they are. <laughs> I've been working to try to catch up after the trip. And, you know, trying to get organized for today. And so excited to share with you guys again. All right. So, let's see. I'm going to take two of these. These are very thin little, st I mean, they're like epoxy, but they're very flexible. Okay. Mm, I want that to peek out. Okay, and then I'm going to get one of these. And then another one of these. I love these shiny epoxy uh, shapes. And these are so cute. Alright, ta-da! Okay, there's the first card. Okay, we're going to be making a little bag to kind of match this. Okay, that's a fun fold. You can do that really with any set. Okay, so like I said, I will have the link to all of the details for that on my blog soon. Soon, soon. Okay, so... While I'm getting ready to do the next project, I had some cards I was going to show you, but of course, oh, let me show you this one. Another cute one. This, my friend Stephanie um, gave me this. It was one of her swap cards from the cruise. We, we, you know, we make cards and then we swap with the other demonstrators. Look at this, how cute. Uh-uh. Isn't that adorable? I want to try to do this one, too. This one, she didn't use um, any of the dies. She just stamped on... The, isn't that cute? And this is a strip from the designer paper. Hey, Loretta. So, I just love this. Thank you, Stephanie. All right. So... And while I've got it, and I know where it is, here's another project that I did because I thought this would be super cute. And this is, I made little cupcake toppers, like for a birthday party. And it's just the Starburst Punch, you know. And these are from the designer paper. 
and or die, can be cut with the dies directly from the designer paper. Let me show you. See? Okay, so little cupcake toppers, toppers. And in a minute, I'm sure I'll find those other cards. I'm gonna move my computer because they're probably underneath it somewhere. So let me show you one more right now. This is a style card that if you order the set, the Dino Roars bundle, okay, the stamp set and the framelits, uh, not framelits, dies, I should say, um, I'm gonna make a card like this for you and send it to you with the little shapes, okay? By Wednesday at midnight. And I'll post it so you won't forget. So uh, the paper may vary, the colors may vary a bit, but it'll be this style card, okay? All righty, let's move on. Move this one out of the way. Any questions about anything? If I don't see it, I will comment later. I'm gonna get a sip of water. Okay, so now, we're going to make a, a little bag with a tag, okay? And so here's the tag we're gonna make, okay? And let's do the bag. So I've chosen another print of this paper and y'all excuse me, I'm you know, going from one project to the next. Okay, this is a nine by nine piece of the designer paper, okay? So I'm gonna score it at three inches on all four sides. So this paper has directionality. You see how all the dinosaurs heads are, you know, this way? So I'm wanting to, the back of my bag is going to be upside down, but that's okay. I'm just gonna worry about the front. So three inches all the way around. So three, 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 and three. Sorry, I get sidetracked so easily. I started looking for my hole punch. I thought, where is it? Okay, I'm gonna fold and give these uh, sides a good crease. Okay. And that's gonna be the front. Okay, so I'm gonna take my paper snaps. and cut up on these score lines. I'm gonna do it where I can see it a little better. The lights kind of play with my eyes on this. So I'm gonna go up to that intersecting score right there, okay? Now I'll flip it and do the opposite side, same way. So this is gonna go up like this. That's gonna be the back, and this is gonna be the front. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put snail right here. What am I do with it? There it is. Y'all, it's it, are y'all having heat waves where you are? Oh my goodness, it's so hot but a cool front's coming in. We're supposed to get some rain tomorrow. So I'm hoping that if you are part of this heat wave, that you and get some heat soon. In fact, I pray that you get some heat, I mean heat, some relief from the heat soon. Okay, so this is gonna be the front. 
Okay, let's go ahead and do the back. So it's going to go like that. So let me go ahead and And then here. So it makes a pretty good sized box. And you could leave it open like this on the top, you know, and put some filler on the inside. Oh, good, Jennifer. Okay, and like that. But I'm going to pinch those sides and pull it together, and it makes like a little bag. Okay, so work with those sides a little bit. So you just pinch them in. Stick your fingers right there and pinch it in. And then, goodness, it's fighting me today. Okay, you would put whatever treats you want or little gift you want in the bag. And then I take a hole punch. I'm using this old crop doll that I have. And I'm going to punch through all the layers. I go, I'm going down about a half an inch. And I'm trying to center it. Bam. Okay. Just like that. Okay, so now that's our little bag ready to go. Thanks, Dina. Um, okay, now, this is just Whisper White cardstock, and I'll be using the tree trunk, okay, to make the pattern. And so, the first one I have, this is the tag itself. And so, this measures two by two and a half, and I'm going to angle these sides, okay? So, I'm going to take it. This, my snips and snip this off and then what I do so that I get it pretty even and this may be you know the hard way to do it it's just my way I'm sure you know if you have a better way go for it I'm just going to take what I cut off over there line it up the same way and snip it off so that it matches okay all right I, actually, that looks a little bigger, but I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, so now I'm going to use some colors that are in this bag to to stamp and make a patterned background. That's I, This is so cute. I got the idea from the Stampin' Up! catalog. The, the samples in there are great. They're great for inspiration. They're great to copy exactly if you want to. So um, let me find my tag and I'm going to need Mango Melody and Pool Party and Old Olive. So I'm going to go ahead and open these up. There's Old Olive, Mango Melody, Pool Party. All right. So I'm going to be cleaning my stamp in between. Um, because um, I just think it's easier. I'm gonna clean it again to make sure it's good. All right, I'm gonna start with Mango Melody. And I'm gonna take this. And I'm just gonna go across the bottom. Bam. I'm gonna stamp off, clean the stamp, wipe it, and go to Pool Party. And then I flip it. Okay. Stamp off, tap, and wipe. All right. And now Old Olive. Stamp. Stamp off, tap, and wipe. Okay, and then let's go Mango Melody again. I'm just going all, whoa, going all the way up. Okay, pool party. Old Olive. Mm 
Mango Melody. Getting close to the top. Kind of messed that up a little bit. Okay, pool party. This should be the last one. Okay, so see what a fun pattern that makes. Thank you, Diana. Thanks for sharing. All right, so now that's the background. Okay, so now I have another little piece, and this one is cut at one and a half by two. And I took this little rectangular cutout that's a die and laid it over top. And then when I cut, the sandwich was the platform, the thin die adapter, the cutting plate, the die and the paper, and then the cutting plate on top. Okay. All right, and so I got this, and now I'm going to take um, the your Rarsum, Rarsum. I think that's cute. And I've gotten where I try to put my stamps back on the in the stamp case as soon as I get through using them. If I take them off the block, because oh, how many of you have ever lost a stamp? I mean, I usually find them later, but it's way later. So, okay, so here we go with this. And I'm gonna just use Pretty Peacock. And stamp. And then I'm going to get one of the Dinovore shapes. I'm going to take your pick tool, pick that up, put that right there. Thanks for watching, Jennifer. Okay, uh, that it's going to go here. See, isn't that cute? And it's so simple. All right, so I have two of the palm leaves, palm branches, already cut. I die cut a bunch of these at a time because they make good little accents for this bundle, okay? All right, and so I'm going to put them on the back. Like this, and if they extend a little beyond the, other, the bottom part of the tag, that's okay. All right, like this. Okay, let's go ahead and put the rest of it on. <laughs> Thanks, Dina. All right, let's get this on. Okay, so now I'm gonna take some Whisper White Baker's Twine. Let's get these out of the way, shall we, before we have a catastrophe. Okay, so I'm just going to tie a bow while it's still on the spool. I make two bunny ears and pull that loop around and then I play with it until I get it somewhat like I want it. Okay, and I'm going to cut this off. Then I'm going to use a mini glue dot behind that knot. and put it up on top there. And then we're gonna attach it to the bag. Okay, so now let's get all this out of the way. We are going to take, this is a piece of the, um, what is it called, denim ribbon? I believe so. It's in this suite as well. It's on the page with the Dino Roar stuff. Okay, see, and 
It's about seven and a half inches long. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close the bag again. I'm gonna push this through. I'm just gonna use a pencil to try to get it started. That folded edge, you see? Now you've got a loop here. And I'm gonna take this and pull these two in. So, like that. And then you can trim the edges if you want it a little shorter, okay? All right, so here's our front. Our dinosaurs are going the right way. And then, um, you know, with a tag, you could have put a hole here and then looped it through, but I didn't want it to get messed up when the bag was opened. So that's why I'm just going to attach it straight to the bag and then it'll stay there. Okay, there's a cute little bag with a tag. All right, let me um, start clearing this off a little bit. We're gonna look at a few more cards that you will see later when I uh, record the videos for them. But um, when I have a stamp set, I like to play around with it and see what ideas I can come up with. And uh, so I have those here. Let me see. So I'm gonna give you a peek of those and I lost the first card I made there this is terrible you know it's kind of like I can't see the forest for the trees yeah okay that's me okay so here is another of that fun fold but just different colors and I did the inside a little bit different okay and the little palm leaves stick up up there that I stamped all right, here's a simple card with a Friendosaurus um, sentiment. And this one, I got inspiration. This is totally done. The only thing stamped on here is the sentiment. And then it's this is all from the designer paper. And what I did is I made a note card size and then backed it with a regular size piece of cardstock for a standard size card, okay? So let me see if I can find the first card I made. Here it is for the two projects for today. Here's this and here's the bag, okay? All right, remember I have the ordering special. If you order this bundle by Wednesday night, I'll send you a set of these and use the host code and a card made like this, all right? And any order of $35 or more using the host code, I'll send you a, a gift in the mail, okay, with a thank you. And don't forget about the bonus, bonus, uh, day, bonus days promotion with $5 coupon code to use on an August order with every $50 you spend in July, okay? Alrighty, thank you for sharing. If you've shared the video, be sure that you comment, shared, and um, share it on your page, your profile, your newsfeed. And um, if you have questions, let me know. So glad to be back with you and creating again. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, version of Sunday Crafternoon, and I will see you all soon. Thank you for joining me. Have a great evening. Bye-bye. Okay.